hello uh, welcome to today's class uh, today's class will be on problem solving agent and here is the pseudo code for the problem solving agent and as you can see the agent takes as input the current percept and it returns uh, an action and this agent maintains a sequence which is a sequence of actions and it initially is empty uh, it maintains the state which is some description of the current world state it maintains a goal which initially is null and it maintains a problem which is the problem formulation and if we look at the body of the pseudocode we will see that we basically have three steps we need to formulate the problem then we need to search for a solution of the problem and then we need to execute the solution uh, these two lines in the pseudo code constitutes the formulate step and here we are formulating the goal and we are formulating the problem so problem formulation is the pro process of deciding what actions and states to consider given a goal in the previous class we have discussed in details about problem formulation and in the class we saw that we need to specify the initial state uh, the actions that can be performed in each step the transition model and the goal test and the path cost uh, and specifying those constitutes the problem formulation and the problem formulation will happen in this step after we formulate the problem the next step is search so the process of looking for a sequence of action that reach the goal is called search so what sequence of actions will lead us to the goal uh, we need to find that sequence of action and the process of looking for that sequence of action is is basically search and the search algorithm takes a problem as input and returns a solution in the form of an action sequence so here as we can see the search algorithm is taking as input uh, the problem and problem is the output from the problem formulation step so during the problem formulation we create the problem and that problem is provided as input to the search algorithm and the search algorithm will return as a solution for the problem a sequence of actions and now we need to execute those actions that has been specified in this sequence of actions and that constitutes the execute step and these two lines in this pseudocode constitute the execute step so once a solution is find found the actions uh, recommended needs to be carried out and this is and this is done in the execution phase and this two line in the pseudo code uh, constitutes the execute step uh, to understand uh, these steps let us take the example of finding a route given a map uh, and try to understand what the different steps in this pseudo code will do um, so we have the percept as input and let's say the sensors that we have are uh, the GPS uh, sensor and also whatever input is specified from the keypad by the passenger as his destination so whoever wants to drive on the automated um, taxi and driving as a car um, whatever destination is specified uh, that would also be a part of the percept so let's say the current percept is that uh, we are in Arad and that's the GPS location says that we are here 
and what the passenger inputs as his destination is the uh, Bucharest. So these two uh, values constitute the current percept and using the per current percept we will update our state. So we will use the previous state, whatever is the previous state and whatever is the current percept using that we will update our st state and we will uh, we'll create our uh, new state. Uh, and in a new state maybe in the new state uh, uh, what we have is that we are in uh, currently in Arad and our destination is Bucharest. Uh, next we will use uh, the state that has been created to formulate the goal and since the passenger has input as his destination Bucharest so in this step formulate goal uh, from the state we will uh, decide our goal is that we need to be in Bucharest. Uh, next is the problem formulation step. Uh, as I mentioned uh, to formulate a problem you need to specify the current the initial state. You need to specify the actions. Uh, you need to specify the transition model and the goal test and, and the path cost. Uh, we will not uh, discuss all the uh, five components uh, in our discussion we are taking only uh, the initial state and the goal which is Bucharest so during the problem formulation step we will uh, const will decide uh, we will formulate the problem where we will say that our initial state is in Arad and our goal is Bucharest so next step now give so this is our problem formulation this is our problem and for this problem we need to search and find a solution so we need to find a solution for this problem and we will ask our search algorithm to find a solution for this problem and what the search problem uh, what the search algorithm will do is is taking this problem as input this is a problem a problem is that we are in initially our initial state is in Arad and the goal is to be in Bucharest. So that's our problem and that is provided as input to the search algorithm. And now the search algorithm will return a solution for this problem. And maybe one of the solution that will be provided is this sequence of actions. So we need to go to CBO and Fagaras and then finally to Bucharest. Of course there are other path to go to Bucharest from Arad but uh, uh, let's say our search algorithm uh, find out uh, it provides this sequence of action as the solution for the problem. Uh, so that's what search algorithm will do. It will return the sequence of actions and this executing this sequence of actions will uh, result in us uh, result in us achieving the goal so if we execute these actions we will reach our goal um, and that's what we need to do now in the execute phase so this was the solution provided for our problem and now we need to execute this sequence of actions. So for that we will first take the first item from the sequence. So we have three items in the sequence and we take the first item which is go CBU and that becomes our first action. So action will be go CBU uh, and in the next line what we are doing is taking the rest of the sequence. So this is our value of sequence. We take the rest which means we, we discard the first item and whatever is the rest we take that and we assign it to sequence. So sequence uh, will change to this new value. So this go CB will be deleted and go figures and go Bucharest will remain in the list. So that's what happens after uh, this line of code. So that's the that's what we have now. And now this action will be returned and that action will be performed by the actuators. 
and once this action is complete uh, we will again call this uh, pro uh, we'll co again call this function problem solving agent with the new percept and as you can see this time a sequence is not empty like before uh, since sequence is not empty we have two items here so sequence is not empty so we will not go inside this if condition if condition this will be false we will go in into this if condition only if sequence is empty so now since sequence is not empty we will not go inside the if part and instead we will come directly to action uh, where we take the first value on the first item from the sequence so what is the first item now in the sequence is go figure us so we will take the first item as our next action and then we take the rest of the sequence uh, rest of the sequence means if we discard the first item we will be left with go book arrest and that will be our new sequence after we perform uh, this and this when we execute this line in the pseudocode uh, th this is what we'll end up with and the new action which is go figures will be returned as the action that needs to be performed and when we perform this action um, we will reach figures and after after that action is complete uh, again this function will be called and as we execute the function one more time we check whether the sequence is empty or not it is still not empty it still have one item in the list so since it is not empty again we will not go inside the if part instead we will come to uh, this line of the code where we take the first value from the list and the first value is go book arrest and that's the action number three that we will perform which we need is go book arrest and next we take the rest from the sequence uh, if we discard the first item there is nothing else in the list so now sequence will become an empty list after that we return the action what was the action uh, go book arrest and that will be performed by the agent and once it is complete performing this action is complete again we will call um, again we will call um, this function with the new percept and this time um, the sequence is empty as you can see the sequence is empty list and hence now we will try to formulate a new goal based on whatever is the new input provided by a new passenger so based on that input from the new passenger we will formulate a new goal we will formulate the problem and then we will search for a solution of the new problem and this is how um, the agent will work uh, however uh, for the previous problem when we executed these three actions uh, we will end up with uh, our state as in Bucharest which means uh, we will reach our goal so our goal was to be in Bucharest and performing these three actions will achieve that goal so in execute phase we execute each of the action so there are three action that we need to perform so during the execute phase we will perform each of these actions that is mentioned in the solution for the problem and once we uh, finish executing all the actions uh, by that time we will reach our goal of the first problem and by that time the sequence list will also be empty and now we are ready to uh, solve a new problem based on uh, whatever is the new destination entered 
uh, I hope this example uh, uh, helps you to understand the different steps in this pseudocode. So what we saw is that this part of the code is not entered during the execute stage. Once a solution has been found, we know we will not once a solution has been found and now we are trying to execute that solution during that stage we will not enter this if condition because our sequence list will not be empty and also you may notice that uh, when we are in the execute stage we don't actually make use of the percept so because our actions are already determined and the new percept actually is not used uh, during the execute stage of course we update our state but then we don't use it to decide our actions our actions has already been decided when we found the solution for the problem during the search operation and once those actions has been decided uh, the percept is no longer used to decide on the new action until the execute of the previous problem is complete and the sequence becomes empty only then the new percept will again be used to formulate a new problem and then again to search so as you can see one of the important step in this pseudocode is this search algorithm which has to find the solution for the problem and there are different search algorithms um, which will which can provide the sequence of actions as the solution for a problem and in our next few class we will talk about different search algorithms so that's all for today uh, thank you bye we will meet in the next class bye